Hello and welcome to each one of you to this new session of online lesson. Without further ado, let's begin. Today we are going to look at pseudocode part 7, iteration while loop. The while loop is a conditional loop that will continue to execute pseudocode statement while a condition is true. So as long as the condition is true, we are going to iterate in our loop. And in this type of loop, we can have a problem whereby the loops never end. And this is a situation whereby we know other as an infinite loop. So in order to avoid that, we need to have a certain situation whereby the condition will become false so that the loops end. Now in the for loop, we are going to have a count initialized at the start, and this will be set to zero. The while indicates the start of the loop. Count less than n, this is a condition that is used inside our for loop. It's a condition that indicates the while loop will iterate n number of times. The predicate statement that has to be iterated is found inside this for loop. The count is incremented inside the for loop so that the loop does not run infinitely. And lastly, the n while indicates the end of the loop. Example 1, write a program in pseudocode that will input 1000 numbers. So here we are going to input 1000 numbers using the while loop. In order to do so, we have to initialize our count to 0 first, set our condition for while loop, so while count less than 1000, and then input our number. We don't we should not forget that we have to increment our count so that our loop does not run infinitely and then we end our loop. Example number two, so we're going to write a program that will input 1000 numbers and out the sum of those numbers. So again, we are going to initialize a count, have a while loop with a count less than 1000 and input the number. Now, given that we have to calculate the sum, we have to initialize the sum to zero. Sum will be sum plus number. Don't forget to increment our count, and then we can end our loop. Lastly, we are going to output the value of sum. Example number three, write a program using the code that will input 1,000 numbers and output the sum and average of those numbers. Again, we are going to have the same procedure as before. In initialize count to zero, have count less than 1,000 because we have to input 1,000 numbers, input number, set sum to zero, sum will be sum plus number and we have to increment our count and and our while loop our average will be calculated after our loop so average will be sum divided by 1000 and this is calculated after our while loop lastly we're going to output our sum and average so that's it for today Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please subscribe, leave a comment on how the channel can be improved and click on the thumbs up. Until then, see you guys next time.